Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, today is Friday, so I think y'all know what time it is. It's time for another Cooking Tips and Household Hints. And guys, in this little Friday uh, series we've been shooting, y'all, I've been getting like uh, single recipes together for you, and we're actually going to be showing uh, household hints, you know, stuff that uh, the common uh, homeowner should be able to do with uh, common household tools, little fix-its around the house, guys. Well, we've been doing a ton of recipes, so I figured, the heck, why not shift gears a little bit? And what I want to do is demonstrate and show y'all how to uh, actually replace an existing exhaust fan, guys. And this should be very, very simple for the average homeowner. And uh, But the thing is, guys, if you feel the least bit apprehensive about uh, messing with this, you want to ensure that that the electricity is off and we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do that but if you're the least bit apprehensive about this just call a, a heating and air guy or call an electrician and and they'd be glad to hook you up guys but uh, what we're actually going to be installing for y'all today guys is it's called this it's the new tone qt series ventilation fan and with light and night light guys it's the qt n130 le1 guys and it says we have uh 130 CFM with this unit, and it's going to put off 1.5 uh, sores and sound, and we've got a light and a night light, guys. Uh, along with that, guys, I actually got uh, myself this spring-loaded exhaust hood. The one I have out front there, it, it's it's terrible, and it's allowing, uh, you know, like uh, insects and stuff to get in, and I want to replace that. Guys, actually, when this when the unit powers up, it's just going to uh, allow it to escape, and it's spring-loaded, so it'll shut when we turn the unit off, guys. I'm going to replace the, uh, the venting as well. I went ahead and I got some more of this 4-inch uh, 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 dryer vent here that's uh, UL rated. And uh, we're just going to be using some regular tools, guys. Now, a lot of uh, you folks might not have a meter, but I always want to test and make sure the power is off to anything that I'm working on. But, guys, if you don't want to invest in a, in a real expensive meter, um, you can actually get, like, these voltage probes, guys. Klein makes a great one, and you can pick this up at Home Depot. But, like I said, I'm going to demonstrate something for you. all I always want to always test these against a live known source before I actually test on what I'm getting ready to work on to ensure that, uh, you know, we're not going to have any, uh, you know, uh, uh, electric flow into it. Uh, guys, what I've basically got here is I've got some dikes, I've got some uh, um, uh, wire strippers here, some Klein wire strippers, and as you can see, the uh, I love Klein tools. I've got some nut drivers, quarter and five sixteenths, and I've got, uh, I think this is like a 12 and one uh, Klein here, guys, and it's actually, this is actually a heat and air um, Klein. Um, I've actually got a Schrader core remover with this one. But, uh, all right, guys, we're going to be utilizing my Makita drill. And uh, this is my box that I, I pack on my heating and air conditioning truck. I've got an assortment of stuff that I need uh, out there in the field. So I'm sure um, it's probably just going to be basically just some wire nuts and stuff like that and maybe some electrical tape. But uh, I don't know, guys. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. And uh, I reckon we're going to get right back with you. Thank you so very, very much. All right, guys, we're getting ready to get started on installing our new exhaust fan here. And uh, basically, guys, like I said before, we want to ensure the power is off. Safety is crucial. The power must be off. And I suggest uh, to most of the homeowners to actually turn it off at the circuit breaker. Uh, guys, what we have here is this is my existing lamps that we have over vanity here, and it's ran on, uh, on its own circuit here. And uh, guys, this is not tied in to the fan or my shower. Now basically what I did here guys is this was a closet at one time. It was flush all the way up against the wall, had the, the, the sliding doors on it. But my mom cannot get in and out of the bathtub anymore. And uh, we wanted somewhere for her to be able to safely shower. And, uh, and basically me and my little brother uh, Jeff and my sister-in-law Tammy built this for her. Um, I framed it out, did most of the plumbing work, and uh, my brother came in and Tammy, and they tiled it, and they did a beautiful job. I'll show you here in just one second. But guys, what we have was we have this ran on its own circuit, okay? Now, all I do is simply flip the switch here, and see we have our fan, and we have our light in the shower, so she can safely see what she's doing. Uh, guys, I actually have it on a ground fault as well, so if any water gets to anything, it's going to immediately shut it down. But I have it wired, so this is always hot. Okay, guys? Now, like I said, I suggest anybody doing something like this to actually turn it off at the circuit breaker. You don't know. I mean, you may have kids that might accidentally turn the switch on on you, and then you're stuck like Chuck. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, let me show you this real quick. Like I said, my, my brother and sister-in-law uh, uh, tiled this up for him, really uh, tiled it up for mom really, really nice. I think they did a beautiful job. I came in, I put some grab bars up so she could safely get in and out of the shower. I've got them on both sides. 
And this actually here, right by the toilet, is actually a grab bar as well. It's decorative, but that way, you know, you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, guys, she loves her shower, and I'm so happy that she can safely get in and out of the shower. Like I said, she had to rehab for a while after the knee surgery, and this way we were able to get her back home really, really quickly. But uh, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to kill mine at the switch. Now, I suggest everybody kill theirs at the circuit breaker. Okay, guys. All right, we're getting ready to get started here. Alright guys, basically I had to pull the Molex uh, plugs off of it so I could remove the light receptacle portion of it. Then I actually had to unscrew the fan and remove that Molex so I could remove the fan portion of it so we can actually get to the box here. See how this thing it won't spring load back. Can't have that. Okay guys, I went ahead and I took my reds and I cut my hole out a little bit better. I mean, that was just a jagged mess of uh, emergency room visits in the making. But, uh, all right guys, what I've had to do too is, uh, guys, sometimes you have to adapt and overcome. Everything can't be easy. If it was easy, everybody and their brother would be doing it. But uh, we've got some soffit right there that's gonna kinda inhibit us from getting out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my saws off, cut some of this out. and overcome and what I did was I took my tongs here and I broke off these ears. They're not gonna work on All right guys. Like I said sometimes you got to adapt and overcome. Okay guys, we basically went ahead and we re reworked our box here guys and what it was was we had these ears on there that were actually tack welded to it like so. And basically guys, this I'd say this box is actually used as a rough end on new construction guys. I think they should have actually had these ears where they were actually unscrewable and had, uh, had mounting holes in here, but they didn't. But uh, what it's going to be is our exhaust is coming out this way, going out the front there. And what I'm going to have to be able to do now is have something to mount to. You know, if I would have left these on here like that, 
to get my drill up in there, I would have had to make a massive hole in our drywall, and then I'd be patching drywall. Man, what good is that? that that's no good. But uh, what we're going to do here is adapt and overcome again. And what I did was I just took my frame and square. It ain't got to be perfect. And I drew myself a couple of lines here, and I've actually drilled out a few holes, and that way we can actually take our deck mates and mount in there. But guys, I utilize these little screws, or I, I call them tech screws, and basically I buy them by the 500 count here. And, uh, Basically, they're a, a sheet metal screw with a drill bit on it, guys. And these actually go into a lot of different things, guys. So what I'm going to do is actually drill this in here like so. And uh, we're good to go, guys. Now we've, now we've got our mounting cloth. So let's uh, go take a peek. All right, guys, we're ready to install our damper here. And it says fan side. So what we'll do is we're going to take it and we'll have this going down towards the fan. And basically, there's a tab on here, right here. And we're actually going to insert our tab like so and we're going to take this little screw here and we're going to fix it maybe like so don't over tighten it you'll strip it all right guys now we're going to take our uh, six to a four reducer here. We're gonna get it on down on here. Make sure we get a good fit. Oh, it's got little stoppers in it. Cool. Okay, we're gonna put that on there like so. And I'm gonna take some of my UL rated uh, uh, chrome tape here, metal tape. I'm gonna tape it to it. Like so. Now guys, a lot of time this tape will not stick if they have that residue. You know, they'll kind of oil it up so it doesn't rust. So what I'll actually do, guys, is I'll take some uh, alcohol and I'll rub it around on it a little bit with my, with my rag here so to get it to stick. So, all right, guys, we're getting okay, there. Okay, guys, let's let the fun begin here. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to try to fit this thing. And this should be fun. Ah. Alright guys, I can pull excess out, okay? Okay guys, I think I may have enough pulled out. If not, I might have to just go out and pull out a little bit more. You know, that's part of it. It's really a good job for two people here. But, uh, alright guys, went in, I got my electric fish fished over here. And I changed out my... Uh, my connection piece here and I actually put a bushing on the top so I can actually just feed from the top guys so let me go ahead and try to get my wire on up in here all right guys now this is the fun part Let's see if we can get this dude up in here Okay. All right, guys. We got still got a good connection. Yes. Okay. We got our wire pulled. Yes. All right, guys. Let me get the mountain here. Alright guys, we're ready to get going here. And what I've done is I've taken my, my hot wires and tied them together and then I took my commons here and tied them together and I simply used my linemans here. 
Go ahead and get them twisted real good. Make sure they're bonded together. Like so. And they're good and tight. All right, guys. Then we'll go ahead and tie our neutral. All right, guys, had to go get me an orange wire nut plus my, uh, my light fail, but I love these little magnet lights here. But let's go ahead and get our final connection here. Where'd you go? All right. All right, guys, we're in there good. All right, now we're gonna just simply take this, roll this up like so. All right, guys, got our electric done, got our vent done, got it mounted. Uh, now let's go ahead and get our blower motor in here, our fan. And it looks like the exhaust is going this way. So this is probably going to be tight, so just bear with me, guys. All right, guys, I got her all the way up in there. She seems to be spinning freely. So what we're going to do is actually mount it. Got my little screws here. Okay guys, we're ready to get mounted here. I don't know if y'all have ever put these mouse traps on. I like to call them that because when, if they spring back and get you, it hurts. What I do is I just take this piece, this side of it, the single side, I'll slide it in like so, and then get my hoop on it. But, uh, all right guys, we got our Molex plugged in for our fan. Now let's plug in our Molex for our light. Okay, now be careful with these guys. The wheel come back and bite you. I've been bit by them a bunch of times. I can't stand them. Okay. All right, guys, we've got her mounted. I think it looks pretty daggone good. Want to do a little tiny piece, a little spackling here, and where I knocked off some, I just apply a little bit of a uh, little bit of tiny touch-up paint. But I think it's fine. But um, anyway, guys, let's get into it and uh, get our light bulbs in there. All right, guys. It's got some kind of weird looking light bulb that goes with it. it says uh, 18 watts, 75 watt. 18 watts equals 75 watts. Okay, guys. It's got uh, 1,200 aluminums. All right, guys. Let's see how this dude goes on here. Let's see. Oh. Sort of like a fluorescent there, I guess. All right, she locks right in place. Now let's go ahead and take the other one. And lock her in place. And what I thought was so cool, guys, is it's actually got a, a nightlight feature as well. So what I did is I got some of these four waters nightlights. Dude in. And you gotta buy this aftermarket, of course. Alright guys, let's flip the switch and see if it works. Alright guys, here we go. What pow! Let there be light! And there was light. Alright guys. Look at that, look at that.
All right, guys. Now let's uh, go outside and finish right, guys, up. We're, we're ready to finish up here. So. Make sure it's operational real quick. Need that, y'all. Ain't that something? Look at that, guys. I love it. I love it. All right, All right guys. We're mounted. Out. We're tied in real good. Let's let's take a peek. I love it, man. Ain't that something? I just think that's the cat's pajamas. All right, guys, All right, we're getting guys. ready to wrap it up. I wanted to show mom real quick. What do you think, mom? Oh, that looks so much better. You want to check it out? It's going to be more efficient. Oh, yeah. The little dinky thing we had here before. Oh, yeah. And it looks that uh, vent I put out front, man. It, I, oh, we, yeah, that looked unsafe. Well, it, it's hidden out there now. You can't even see it. Ain't that something? Well, all right, guys, just wanted to say thank you so very much for stopping by and visiting with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. And I reckon we're going to holler at y'all soon. We'll see you Sunday. Y'all take care now, you hear? Bye.